Cloudinary has powerful tools for transforming and managing your images and videos to improve your media workflow. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Cloudinary in PHP so you can start using these features. To install the Cloudinary PHP SDK, use Composer to manage dependencies. In your composer.json file, add Cladinary PHP version 2. Then run Composer to install the Cladinary PHP package and its dependencies. Next, retrieve your Cladinary credentials and add them to your .env file. In the Cladinary dashboard, click Go to API Keys to open the API Keys page in the console settings. You'll see your cloud name, API key, and API secret. Keep these handy because we're going to be using them in a minute. Now copy the environment variable format shown on this page and paste it into your .env file. Replace your API key and your API secret with your actual values. The cloud name will already be correctly included in the format. To import the credentials from your .env file into your project, use the php.env library. Install it via Composer by running Composer require vlucas php.env. Inside your PHP project, configure Cladinary by creating a Cladinary instance. First, import the .env package to load environment variables, as well as the Cladinary configuration and Cladinary Cladinary classes. Use methods from the php.env package, such as create immutable and load, to load your credentials from the .env file. Then, create a new configuration object using new configuration and pass in your environment variable to set up the credentials. Finally, create an instance of Cladinary by using new Cladinary and pass the configuration object you just created to apply the configuration to the Cladinary instance. To confirm everything's set up correctly, print the instance to your HTML page and run the code. You should see your configuration details, including your cloud name, API key, and secret. Now let's use the Cladinary instance you just created to generate a basic HTML image tag. We'll generate the tag for an image in your product environment and deliver it. First, import the image tag method from the PHP SDK with use Cladinary tag image tag. Then, create the HTML image tag by passing the public ID of the image you want to display to the CLD instance. To find the public ID, go to the console, select the Assets product, and click the Assets tab to see all your images. Each image has a public ID, which is used in the image URL and in your code. For this example, we'll use the sample image CLD sample, which is available with every new Cladinary account. Now pass the CLD sample public ID to the image tag method using your CLD instance and save the result in a variable. Finally, use echo to render the image in your HTML. Now let's run the code and render the image. And there it is! This confirms that we've successfully created our Cloudinary instance and used it effectively. Now let's copy the image address and verify that it's delivered from Cloudinary. You'll see the Cladinary Deliver URL, which includes the public ID for identifying the image. We've got it working, but the image is still too large. One of the great things about Cladinary is that you can easily transform images directly in your code. Let's apply a resize transformation to reduce the file size, lowering bandwidth usage and improving loading times. Unlike resizing with HTML, which doesn't optimize the image itself. First, import the resize transformation with use Cladinary transformation resize. Then, add the resize transformation to the image tag method using resize resize scale and set the width to 400. Now run the code again and see how the CLD sample image looks. Perfect size! Open the image URL and notice that the transformation parameters are included right within the deliver URL. Next, let's explore how AI can keep the important part of the image in focus during cropping with smart video cropping and content-aware AI. 